watched this last game, I guess, like what maybe set you off the most about how that game, this game played out being so wild, being going into overtime and everything? Yeah, it was just a lot of um, a lot of possessions, up tempo. It was like 145, 147. So it was a lot of possessions. Uh, they do different stuff defensively. We do different stuff. So you know, it's going to be a up tempo game, really. So just got to be ready for a track meet. All the possessions in that game, were you looking your chops? Oh yeah, for sure. You always. I was like, damn, I wish I didn't get hurt. <laughs> but you know, you know, everything comes around. So you know, hopefully it's like that today. But you know, hopefully this time we get a win out of it. But you know, just ready to play. Just ready to play again. When it comes to this team, I know that you know you've been you've been, you've been back a couple of games, but since the last time the Nets played here two weeks ago, you guys have gone four and one. That one loss being in Charlotte, what has stood out to you about just the way that you guys have been playing and kind of what's been the concentration, the focus level as a group? Yeah, just um, just being more physical when we play, um, staying more locked in, shoot arounds, locked in to the game plan, just so we don't really have too many mess ups. We're gonna mess up, but not have as many, you know. Has have as many faults as we you know normally did like to start the season off. So I feel like that's been the main thing. We're just staying locked in on the game plan, staying locked in and shoot around because it all carries over to the game. So I think that's been a real big thing for us. With this team having so many guys shooting three ball well, I mean, how much fun is it for you to kind of not just be a part of that, but also say anybody can get hot on this team and catch fire? Oh yeah, it's good. Um, it's good for me because you know most of the time I'm doing I'm doing the one on one part of you know of our offense. So. You know, when you have guys around that can make threes at a high level, they, the teams can't help as much. So it's like a lot of one-on-ones for me, well, more clear one-on-ones. So, you know, it's good to have, you know, a lot of weapons on, on offense around me. So it's good. And then for you too, I mean, you had five assists last game. So as you're improving as a facilitator, is it just fun for you to kind of see, hey, as I'm learning how to do that more, you got guys who are just ready to shoot if they get the ball in the right spot? I mean, yeah, I mean, did you know, the, the assists come from them making it. So they got to make when I pass it to them. So, you know, it's a good thing that they're making it. Again, it made me look good with five assists, so it's good. It's good, so I'm just happy they made it. So, you know, tonight I'm going to try to keep doing the same thing. I don't know, I don't know how to guard me because I didn't play last time. So, you know, this is my, I think it's my first game against them, so it will be new to me. So I have to figure out as I go, but, you know, I'm ready for the challenge. But it, but it does, oh, sorry. But it does help you, too, like being a facility, like with, with the shooters, like, hey, if I got to pass the ball more, it's easier with this. Oh, yeah, yeah, it definitely helps, but, you know, you still got to make it. It don't matter who's out there playing, they still got to make it. <laughs> But, you know, so just glad they're making it. Okay, I'm curious, like, if you look at the last, like, couple of days, what was it like to kind of not know your schedule and, like, to have this game kind of scheduled over the weekend to kind of know where you're going, but just overall as a player, what was that process like? Cause it's something that's very, very new and very different. Yeah. No, it was different because when I seen on our schedule, we had, like, a whole lot of days off. And I was like, we got this many days off? I was happy. Then they added two games. I was like, oh, I should have known. It's too early. Too early to add. <laughs> so, I mean, you always, um, you know, just competitive nature. You know, we haven't beat these guys here. So, you know, you always look at it like, you know, it's a challenge that we can actually get a win here in a while. Haven't won here in a while. So, try to look at that. And then just being a competitor, you just want to play as many games as possible. So, that's really the main thing from it. You mentioned a couple minutes ago, sorry, you mentioned a couple minutes ago that, you know, you wish you were playing that game two weeks ago. And when it comes to tonight, because you weren't, you did not play two weeks ago, and now that you don't know how they're going to guard you, what kind of threat can that be when it comes to your game and what you can do out there? Yeah, it's tough because you know a lot of these teams have different schemes for everybody. So, like, I don't know if they'll just let me play straight up or come off the screens, get a get a matchup I like. They come trap, so that's probably the tough thing. But you know, I got figured out early, so I know how to you know attack the defense the best way I can. So. I mean, I mean, you always try to look at how they guarded the other guards last game, but everybody's different. Everybody guards everybody differently, so I just have to wait and see till the game start. What KO say to you guys before the last game, before the Orlando game? What KO say? Oh, he was, you know, KO's fired up. KO's fired up for sure. I'll say that he was fired up. He got us hyped up, and we came out, came out physical, came out fast, and got a win. So you know, it was good. He came out. He was hyped up, though. I ain't gonna lie. It was funny. It was funny. <laughs> you said maybe a hint at what he maybe said. Dude, play physical, win. <laughs> get a win, get a win. You know, we had a bad loss against Charlotte. Just call it how it is, it was a bad loss. So, you know, you can't have two in a row. So we came out physical and wanted to get, wanted to avenge that loss. So that's what we did, so it was good. The matchups, the matchups here in Atlanta have always been like back and forth and they've been like always a fun atmosphere. Uh, Cam Johnson and Mikel have not won here and they mentioned that before in their career. And Cam said that also he was excited to get Atlanta back on the schedule to have another opportunity. What is it like playing here at State Farm and just why are the matchups always so intense? 
Um, honestly, our teams are pretty similar in a way. If you look at it, our teams are very similar in some type of way. So that's uh, that's one reason. But obviously, the high pace, scoring threes, we both shooting threes, making them. So you know, we play similar in a way, fast pace threes. So that's why it's always exciting. And then you have everybody in the arena, all the celebrities and rappers and stuff. So you know, that really adds to it. But it's all good, though. It's, it's good competition. Uh, it's a normal game to me, but obviously, um, obviously, it's a little exciting because you know of everything that comes with it here. But it's still not a game for me. I don't really look at it like that, for sure. Thanks, man.